Hey everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am back with another book review. Today we are looking at the book called How to Learn Tarot, a guided tarot journal with intuitive prompts and spreads. And this is a book that was written by Jess Carlson. Before we move into the review, I have to let you know that I received the ebook version of this book for free from the publisher for the purposes of doing this review. I will leave a link in the description to everywhere that you can find this book, as well as Jess Carlson's um, social media. The first thing I need to say about this book is that I really like the cover. I like how the colors play well together and it incorporates the images from the Rider Waite Smith deck. Now this book is not one that you get and you read. It's not going to teach you about tarot or the meanings of the cards or any of tarot history or anything like that. This book is exactly as it says. It is a guided journal with prompts to help you connect deeper with the cards and yourself as a reader. So I do appreciate that it is exactly what it says it is. It is upfront and straightforward about what the book's intentions are, and there is nothing extra and nothing missing. The book is divided into two parts. The first part is called The Tarot Unfurled, The Major and Minor Arcana, and then the second part is called The Tarot Applied. So as you go through this book, the first things that you encounter are the introduction. So Jess Carlson gives you some information about themselves, how they found tarot, and I think that's a really nice touch in any book, especially when someone is trying to help you learn something, that they are saying, hey, you know, I've been in your shoes, this is what I did. This is how I discovered tarot. Here's how I can help you. I really appreciate that in any book, but this book in particular. So the first section of the book contains some tips on reading tarot, and then it jumps right into the major arcana. And I want to look at just a random one. Let's see. Uh, we'll pull up the Hierophant. And it says, as you look at the Hierophant, ponder the concept of traditions. Were you raised with specific cultural or spiritual traditions or none at all? Reflect on how these ideas shaped you as a person and how you feel about them now. So immediately you can kind of understand the basic idea of what the Hierophant means, but then the journal prompts really get you thinking about how it applies for you. And once you can connect with a tarot on a personal level, it makes learning the cards, their meanings and their symbolism so much easier. So the whole first section of the book, Tarot Unfurled, is just journal prompts for each tarot card. Um, all of the tarot cards in the Major Arcana plus all of the cards in the suits. And each journal prompt is relevant to the traditional meaning of that particular card. The second part of the book is a little different. It is more personal and the journal prompts help you identify why you're learning tarot, how you plan on using it, and in the case of one particular journal prompt that I wanted to share out of this book, your reading style as a tarot reader. This particular journal prompt was a surprise to me in this book because it's not something that a lot of people talk about or discuss when someone is learning how to read tarot cards. The journal prompt says, there will be times when people will ask you to read the cards for them, but you may not feel comfortable doing so. Write about how you can maintain your boundaries as a tarot reader while still holding compassion for those in need of support and guidance. No one in the tarot community that I have encountered, I'm sure people are probably talking about it, but I haven't encountered anyone who speaks about boundaries as a tarot reader and where that line is for each individual person. So I really appreciate that Jess Carlson took the time to come up with a journal prompt that helps the person reading the book and using the prompts really explore their own personal boundaries with who they will and won't read cards for and what they're okay with. I also like that this book has different tarot spreads in it. And this book is really approachable for someone who is just learning how to read tarot cards. It connects them with their own intuition as well as the symbolism of the cards it really gets them thinking about what they see, what it might mean, and how they feel about it. And then it also serves as a stepping stone for where to go from here. Overall, I would recommend this book for anyone that is just learning tarot or anyone who maybe needs a refresher or someone who just might need a different perspective 
and they've been reading for a while. A lot of times when people are learning how to read tarot, they're overwhelmed by the fact that there are 78 cards with 78 different meanings. Double that if you read reversals. And this book serves as a good starting point for anyone so that no one gets overwhelmed and you really just have a place to start because the hardest part of learning tarot is getting started. At the end of the book, there are also several resources that are recommended by Jess Carlson. Um, There are books as well as websites, and I appreciate that both of them were included because, as we know in this day and age, some people prefer books and some people prefer websites, Um, and some people prefer videos. (laughs) But overall, I would definitely recommend this book for anyone that is looking to learn to read tarot. So be sure to check out the links in the description below where you can find this book by Jess Carlson, as well as all of their social media links. I know they have an Instagram. I've been following Jess Carlson on Instagram for a while, actually, and they're very inspirational. I recommend anybody else follow them too. So until then, I will see you next time. Bye for now.